Welcome back everyone to another What's on the Shelf. It's a glorious day outside, um, been out, got a bit burnt. So I thought I'd come back in and have a look at the what we can pick off the shelf to have a look at today. There's quite a bit, quite a few choices. Got the zap mats there, which I'll have a look at sometime soon. And then you'll notice on the right here, We've got hacker cards from 2000 AD and like the top trumps from the Retro Computing Museum, uh, the home computer cards here. Oh. Top trumps, yeah, the Centre for Computing History. Let's see if we can get that in focus. Uh, really good quality um, and if you do get these top trump cards you can make sure you get them from their official website uh, because I've heard that there's some like fake or imposter ones going around which are really shit so these are the ones to get from from their website Centre for Computing History and also we have Pack of cards from SF, SFX. I think it was issue 172. You got the free 2000 AD playing cards. Box is a bit banged up, but these are the ones that I use rather than the ones that I'm collecting. So I've got another box. Uh, really good quality. The artwork's pretty good as well. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Uh, there we go. So yeah, so a couple of things to put on the table and to go through. Right, we'll go through the top trump cards first. Like I said, they're from the Centre for Computing History off their website. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, they're pretty cheap for what they are money-wise, money but the quality is really good. I mean, look, you get it in a cassette tape holder. Um, the actual quality of the cards themselves are second to none. Let's get them all out. Yeah, you get instructions as well. Take those out. Take those out. Yeah, it gives you the lowdown on how to play them. Everyone's played top trumps. Um, with computers, there'll be like the CPU type, clock frequency, probably the higher the higher the value, uh, the, high, the highest value wins, apart from the year, apparently. Yeah, the older the machine, the better. It's interesting. So yeah, so got instructions. And the cards themselves. Oh, let's just get my hand out of the way. Uh, yeah, the cards themselves. We've got the Commodore 64, BBC. So all the all the uh, common, well-known ones. Commodore Pet, plus four Apple Two. Then you've got some weirdo ones. Oh, it's American, so it's one I've never never heard of, but it's a Zilog Z80A. And it was 1980, so it's yeah, before the Spectrum. Um, so even if you, you want to play them or just as a collector's item, these are pretty good. Like I say, the quality is good. And it goes to a good cause as well. So it goes to the, uh, you know, the Centre for Computing History. Acorn Atom, never seen one of those. Uh, Macintosh, 128K. Wow. Amstrad, Acorn Electron, Tandy. I mean, I won't go through them all because possibly you're thinking of getting them. 
Don't want to spoil it, but yeah, look, you've got a um, really big choice. Cards. Oh, that's weird, they've got a Raspberry Pi. 2012. What was the name of these game? Computers. Machines that inspired a generation. Okay. I suppose in that respect, it's a couple of generations, because this is, this is a new generation of computer, especially for DIY people. Um, yeah, 2012, so that I'd lose on the year, uh, but it would probably kill everything else. <laughs> I mean, look at the RAM, a ridiculous amount. So yeah, good old Spectrum. Cool, so yeah, so there worth getting good quality obviously top trumps is fun to play you've got no excuses there right so the other pack is 2000 ad playing cards from the magazine sfx and they were giving out free it took me a while to get these actually because i bought one and it only had uh, the spades or the clubs in so I had the, the box and only like a quarter of the pack. So this is one with all the cards in. Obviously those people that are aware of 2000 AD, British comic, been around for quite a few years since around the early 80s. Still going now. And this features a lot of the artwork from, from, the, from the comic. So you got Tharg. Uh, oh, Judge Death. And we've got Judge Mortis and all the other characters. So Judge Cal. Can't remember. So these are spanning quite a few years. Yeah, and you'll notice the artist as well, Brian Bolland. Death again, Strontium Dog. Yeah, when I was getting them the second time round, he was a new character introduced and I cannot remember what his name is. Dev or something. Road Trooper. The quality's not bad, a bit floppy, but you know, they were free gifts. Torquemada. I mean, you can see the artwork is great. Mean Machine. So yeah, it's worth getting if you can get your hands on them. Especially if you're into 2000 AD. Uh, got the Joker. Okay, well thanks for Thanks for watching, um, two great packs of cards, both good for the lock-in, so, you know, uh, I hope you're doing okay. What are we in now, week four is it? I don't know, I'm losing track now, uh, but yeah, I hope you're all keeping, keeping well. Uh, at least the weather's nice, you know, it's had, it, it started off when it was a bit cold and now it's got warm, so potentially that'll be better for everyone. Get your vitamin D, sit out, go for a walk, enjoy yourself, recoup your brain, and play cards. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you want, and see you next time.